Think about it. Yeah. I'd think about it for a little while. How did I know you were going to say will. that? He would. He would. I would, will. absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I just feel awful for everyone going and through the fires over no, there. No, I do, absolutely. Yeah. But again, the problem is folks are building too close to those wooded areas, yeah. and so now you're getting more of the population in those areas that burn every year. What about the wind impact there? Uh, the winds get very strong, and again, it's, we kind of detailed that yesterday. It's a very yeah. dry wind, so it just helps to fuel. It's an incredibly low humid air. We're talking about dew points mm -hmm. in kind of the single digits at times. So yeah. this is incredibly dry air. No. We have some dry air on right. the way here. Not that dry, yeah. but it's also going to be cold, mm. downright cold. So if you're going to be trick-or-treating tomorrow, Good. just keep in mind, it's going to feel like the 40s at trick-or-treat time. Just keep that in mind. Not like that outside right now. Still very warm, very muggy. Yeah, we'll call it mild. We do have some showers starting to perk up on the North Shore in the Tangible Hope Parish around a meet and up toward Kentwood. Some heavier showers just off to the west. That is a line of storms that are moving our way. Now, luckily, as I mentioned, this line so far has not shown any signs of becoming severe. We're going to watch it through the overnight period. Now, north of the Mississippi Louisiana line, we have had one report of a tornado or at least a tornado warning. I should say no reports of an actual tornado. And so far, nothing has gone severe along this line. Let's hope that that is the case and kind of timing it out. Now, obviously, with the kind of uh, position of this line, it's going to affect the North Shore first. So uh, folks in Hammond, maybe just after midnight, then around Laplace River Parishes, maybe closer to 1 a.m. and just after 2 a.m., probably moving through the city if the line doesn't speed up. But that's kind of a ballpark idea of when these storms should move on through. But notice it is a very narrow band of storms that will be moving through the area. The cold front is not too far behind that. But then notice we still have some kind of overrunning moisture on top of that colder air that will keep some showers around us through the morning and maybe even midday hours tomorrow. Right now outside, bit of patchy fog. Humidity is at 94% and the temperature and dew point are only two degrees apart. So humidity very high. And as you can see from our tower, there is a little bit of patchy fog across the area as well. Not a huge issue, but if you are out and about this evening, just keep that in mind. 85 was our high today, only two degrees off of the record. Right now we're in the 70s and we'll likely stay in the 70s until midnight and probably not starting to really drop off until about five, six o'clock. Now, as we continue through the overnight period, there is still a low end risk of some flooding potential rains. I kind of downplaying that now and then a severe risk. We're still one out of five. So again, the lowest end risk of some of the storms that are going to be rolling through kind of going into early tomorrow morning again could become strong to severe. This is the temperature uh, contrast. Midnight temperatures in the 70s. Wake up time. We're in the 50s and 60s as we get to about three o'clock in the afternoon already in the 50s. Winds will be strong out of the north, so it's going to feel like the 40s. That's where we're going to be at 6 o'clock. Actual 40s and feels like temperatures will be in the 40s. And then by midnight in the 40s on both sides of the lake, still pretty breezy. And we will be likely dropping into the 30s on the North Shore by Friday morning. This is a very cold air mass. Aspen, Denver, both in the single digits, and they'll likely keep dropping through the overnight period. This is a very cold air mass spreading across the entire nation and we're right now on the dividing line. Now, as I mentioned, you still have that overrunning moisture. So even as the front moves on through, we still will have a few lingering showers kind of following right behind it. But it looks like the rainfall will likely start wrapping up as we get into probably the 9, 10 o'clock hour time frame, if not all of it gone. I think most of it will be going away. So by the afternoon, we are cold but cloudy. And then this model kind of clearing us out. So maybe some clearer skies as we get around 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, which would be great. And a lot of sunshine on the way for Friday. So very warm overnight tonight in the 70s. Tomorrow afternoon, well, the temperature I've got at 65 degrees is kind of our wake up temperature because during the afternoon hours, we're going to be well into the 50s and then 40s. 30s and 40s to wake up on Friday with a high of only 59. A lot of sunshine, some very cold mornings on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. May start to see a few isolated showers or spotty showers return by the middle of next week.